You ever just want to blow shit up? Ever wonder what a half pound of Tannerite would do to several blocks of ballistic gelatin? You're going to find out today. But I can virtually guarantee that YouTube will demonetize this video. Which is why I was grateful when Guns of Glory offered me a paid sponsorship. Guns of Glory is available free in the Apple App Store and in the Google Play Store, where it is one of the top 10 games in the US. This is basically your standard top-down real-time strategy slash resource management type game, but it also has multiplayer elements. So if you're into that genre, you'll, you'll probably find no surprises here, but you'll enjoy it. Build farms, barracks, lumber yards, etc., and manage your resources to continue improving your facilities and attacking and defending against enemies. The setting is a sort of Three Musketeers meets Dawn of the Dead aesthetic. Basically, like that movie Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, but also with just a touch of steampunk flavor. I'll add links to the description so you can check it out. Downloading this game helps support my channel, so if you play this game to level 10, email me a screenshot and I'll send you links to all of my Patreon exclusive gel test videos to date. Clear ballistic gel is shelf stable, but it isn't very accurate for testing rifle ammunition. Real 10% ordnance gelatin does produce measurements that correlate closely with real living tissue, but it needs to be refrigerated and can only be reused a handful of times before it becomes too cloudy to easily see what's going on. It will still calibrate accurately through many uses, but I can really only get two or three uses out of it for my videos. So I have to dispose of it when I'm finished testing. That usually means dropping it in a dumpster on the way home, but this time I decided to blow it the fuck up because I had an extra binary target already mixed up and it's illegal to transport them after you mix them. So I had to use it. Let's get out there and take a look. What do we got here? A couple of big chunks here. That's ground zero. I don't see anything else. <laughs> That shit went away. Well, bye. <laughs> okay, first of all, that was spectacular. I could watch that explosion again and again. That Phantom V642 is capable of capturing events on a time scale that's actually really hard for me to get my head around. If you'd like to make similar videos, get in touch with Nathan Boer at AIM Research. I'll leave his contact info in the description as well. Aside from being fun to watch, can we really learn anything from this? I mean, the TLDR is that no, we can't really extract any empirical data. Ballistic gelatin has been experimentally proven to produce penetration, expansion, fragmentation, and retained weight measurements that correspond pretty closely with projectile wounds observed in human beings and in pigs. But to the best of my knowledge, it isn't used to determine the wounding effects of explosions. If it is, 
I'm not aware of any standards for collecting and interpreting data anyway. I mean, it does seem fairly obvious that if you set a lump of this stuff in your lap and touched it off, you're gonna have a bad time. But you didn't need gelatin and a high-speed camera to tell you that either. Even if it can't give us objective, empirical data, the gelatin does hint at the power of the explosion in a subjective way. Remember that it is roughly the same density as muscle. The blast yeeted those blocks with authority. A little imagination indicates it would be very unhealthy to be anywhere close to a charge like this when it goes off. I was curious how this relates to real explosives, so I did me some googling and I found a Quora response that sounds credible that indicates that TNT is roughly 1.8 times as explodey as tannerite by weight. An M67 fragmentation grenade is filled with 6.5 ounces of composition B, which is roughly 60% RDX and 40% TNT. 0.6 times 6.5 ounces is 3.9 ounces. RDX has a relative effectiveness or RE factor of 1.6, so multiply 1.6 times 3.9 and we get the equivalent of 6.24 ounces of TNT. Add that to the 2.6 ounces of actual TNT and we find that the composition B charge in an M67 frag grenade is equivalent to about 8.84 ounces of TNT. Now we take the 8 ounces of tannerite multiplied by its RE factor of 0.55 and we find that a half pound of tannerite is equivalent to about 4.4 ounces of TNT, which is roughly half the 8.84 ounce TNT equivalent of an M67 grenade, meaning that this charge was roughly half as powerful as a modern hand grenade. That's pretty impressive, but does it mean that a one pound charge of tannerite is just as dangerous as an M67 can of fuck you? No, of course not. That fragmentation grenade is not just an explosive charge. It's an explosive charge inside a steel case designed to fracture into shrapnel roughly the size of birdshot, but moving at about 5,000 feet per second, or almost four times as fast as a shotgun blast. We tend to think of explosions as crazy dangerous, but think of it this way. A few grains of black powder is next to harmless until you focus that energy into a specific direction and use it to propel a lead ball down a barrel. Explosions that are not contained are relatively harmless. If this charge had been tamped with a bag of water or if the power of the blast were used to propel shrapnel, it could do a lot more damage than it did. Now, before I leave you, don't worry about leaving the gelatin out in the desert either. It's entirely made of water and animal collagen. I'm sure the ants loved it, and in turn, they made a nice treat for my horny toad friend out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. If you feel inclined to help support me, take a look at the Boss shirts, and mugs, and stickers, and more on my Teespring store. There are a lot of designs on there that were just too spicy for the YouTube sensors to approve. Click on any of those Teespring links down below and that will take you to the store where you can see the rest of them. If you'd prefer to support me directly, you can donate on my Patreon page. Just $1 gets you access to lots of Patreon exclusive ammo test videos. But if you believe that YouTube is supposed to be free and should stay that way, there's nothing wrong with that either. You don't owe me a damned thing. And I appreciate your support just by watching this video. Have a great day.